I'm a real one Still by me, yeah, you never switched up Even in all the times I messed up Yeah, yeah, you are one in a million And I'm a What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel Alright, so we on day 14 of Vlogmas. I'm not gonna lie, it's been difficult to make sure I'm getting content up for you guys every day. And especially with it being quarantine, there's not a lot of stuff going on. So yesterday, I didn't really have anything to film. I wanted to do a makeup tutorial, but that didn't work out. So today, we're gonna be cooking. Uh, I wanna do some surf and turf. It's gonna be for me and my fiance. Show you guys how I cook. Um, I'm going to take you guys to the grocery store with me as well. Why not? I'm only going to get a few things. The menu is steak. Yeah. And I'm going to do a boneless ribeye. That's my favorite. Lobster tail. Green beans. And roasted potatoes. Roasted red potatoes or just roasted potatoes? I might do red because red is easier to cook than regular potatoes. Um... And then maybe it's like some red wine. I think that would be a good meal. And I want to do something for scratch for you guys. Something that, you know, didn't require any box cooking. So I feel like this would be the perfect one. Excuse my eyebrows, but I do feel like my skin is getting better. I've been on a skincare journey. I can tell that it's lighting up right here. And then also right here. So I'm just trying to take you guys along. I'm to be continued on that. Um, what else do I have to say? Yeah, just keep on tuning in. Vlogmas is coming along great. I'm really enjoying myself. I feel like my mom was always telling me I need to upload more on YouTube. And now that I've been uploading more, you guys, engagement has been up, like, like triple. Um, everything's in the green due to Vlogmas. Oh, let me show you guys Seppi outfit. Come here. Come here. He's ready for Christmas. Come here. Come here. Come here. You don't want to be on camera. Come here. I could flip it. You want me to flip it? Yeah. You don't want me to flip it. <laughs> well, look at him in his bow. Ain't that cute in his Christmas pajamas? He's like a real baby. He thinks he is. He thinks he's my first child or whatever. Um, I haven't been able to get my nails done unfortunately at first I was a little nervous because a lot of people in my family have been getting sick and I didn't want to bring anything back and I didn't think it was that important for me to get my nails done like I I like a good you know full set but I'm not like the type of girl that's like dying if her nails isn't done but I do want them done for Christmas especially when I'm filming too I just like every time I put my hand in the frame it makes me cringe a little bit but I'd rather be cringing than I got sick. But yeah, hopefully I can get like a Christmas or holiday themed nail vlog for you guys. I do have a good, like some good inspiration in my head. So hopefully uh, my girl, oh my girl that does my nails that I really trust to do my nails. She is not taking appointments right now. So she told me that she at least started taking appointments the 21st. So I'll try to make sure I can squeeze in a nail vlog for you guys. Yeah, you're my baby. You're my baby. I know. So, yeah, we finna go to the grocery store. This is probably the last time I talk to you guys. I probably doubt I do an outro because I'm gonna be busy cooking and stuff like that. But I'll make sure to get everything on film. But, um, yeah. Make sure you let me know what your favorite part of this video is. Or maybe just your favorite video from Vlogmas in general. It seemed like y'all like to clean with me. Clean with me went up real quick and... It, it, like, basically gained the most viewers the quickest. I don't know if it's because I'm uploading so frequently or because you guys like clean with me. Well, we gonna find out. Because you know why I come for us, Seppi? Because we just getting started. All right, see you guys at the grocery store.
just cutting my potatoes into like basically a bite size um, not too big not too small you don't want them to be too small because they will get super thin and crispy but you don't want them to be too thick because they'll basically take longer to cook so just I eyeball them maybe like a half an inch thick for each one Okay, so make sure you preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Now I'm putting all my potatoes into a bowl and I'm gonna rinse them off camera until the water runs clear to make sure you get all that starch off your potatoes. I'm gonna season my potatoes with black pepper, garlic salt, and I think that, oh, and minced onions. Those were the three ingredients. Alright, so I had to change my angle up really quick. So I got some aluminum foil. I laid it on top of a baking sheet. I want to lay my potatoes on top of the aluminum foil, shiny side up. I want to make sure that all of my potatoes are not on top of each other to make sure that they all get evenly crispy. Now I'm going to pull out my olive oil and I'm just going to pull out maybe just a drizzle. Like a drizzle, enough for it to get crispy, not enough to get soggy because you can make them soggy if you put too much or greasy you don't want it to be greasy you want it to be crispy honey i'm gonna let those potatoes cook about maybe 30 to 45 minutes you're gonna make sure you flip them halfway through and they should look like a golden crispy brown when you're done now i'm cutting my ribeye in half right here i thought it'd be perfect for us to just share it I think one each is a little bit too much on a portion side so I split everything in half I'm seasoning it with salt well garlic salt to be exact you can use regular salt I love me some garlic salt seasoning salt um, and pepper So another piece of aluminum foil on top of a baking sheet. Make sure the sun, the shiny side is up. You're just going to put those beautiful steaks on there right in the middle. I'm going to show you guys a little trick that I use. I'm going to use just a splash of water. Like a little bit of the water is going to help the steak retain some of that juiciness. Um, so we're going to bake it first and then we're going to sear it. So we're going to make sure it's all juicy and tender on the inside. And then we're going to make sure it's crispy on the outside. And I think I make a good steak. Like I love steak. So either you buy a good steak or you learn how to make a good steak. And I make a good steak. And that's going to cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. I do recommend knowing before you cook this how you like your steak cooked. I'm a medium well girl, so I'm gonna basically bake it based on me liking it medium well. So that'll be about 10 to 15 minutes. So here I'm washing my lobster tails off to make sure I get them all clean. I'm just gonna season these and then gonna put them to the side. I think the sooner you season seafood, the better because they're su it's such a lean meat that it can hold on to season really, really well. So you can even do it overnight. I don't, I got them today, but I think even if I didn't, I would marinate my lobster because lobster can dry out really easily. You don't want your lobster to be dry. You want it to be juicy and succulent. So I'm just gonna season them really quick. I'm seasoning them with cayenne pepper, garlic salt, black pepper, and I think that's it. Just those three. I'm very simple with my seasonings, but they're, I want to make sure I base it in butter as well. 
So I don't know the particular method of this. Like I basically cut the lobster tail down the middle and then I'm gonna make it spill over the top. Like I literally pull the lobster tail out and just make it spill over the top. I think it's called the butterfly method, but do not quote me on that. But that's the method I chose to use. Okay, this is my favorite part. Okay, so I'm taking a huge skillet and I'm gonna sear my steaks. So I took my steaks out, they're still bleeding. I like my medium well. Again, if you like yours well done, I would still advise you to take them out a little bit before they're cooked all the way through and sear them. Cause you, I don't know, I feel like if you're a steak person, you know. But yeah, so I'm taking some butter. I'm gonna heat all that butter up. I just cook it slowly so it could be a cute, golden pal butter but then when i'm ready to put my steaks in i turn the heat all the way up i think heat is very important when you're learning how to cook you are in control of the stove you can turn your fire down you can turn your fire up so this i have it all the way up and i'm basing my steak in actual butter i'm literally scooping it and pouring it back on scooping it and pouring it back on because that helps the basically the steak even cook Also, when you're searing your steaks, don't touch them. Just let them sit. Like, literally let them sit for maybe two to three minutes on one side. Turn your, your fan on your stove on. It's going to get kind of smoke, smoky in there. But you, you're basically doing, like, outside grilling. Like, you're getting something really charred. So, it's going to get a little smoky. doesn't mean that your stuff is burning. It's just something that's searing. So, you see how when I flip it over, it's starting to get smoky. That's just basically that cute coat that you love on a steak that is like, oh, it's crispy but still juicy. That's what you're creating right now. And that's literally what we're doing. Okay, so I'm taking the steaks out now. Um, I'd recommend not touching them, not cutting into them for a while. Let them sit for maybe like two to three minutes, five max as you can. But do not cut into your steak right away once you tuck it off heat because it's going to um, shock the meat. And then I'm going to take my green beans and I'm just going to pour it instantly into that butter that I just took out my steaks. I do turn my fire on too low and we're just going to coat that, all of that, all that goodness, all that flavor um and the green beans and i do season my green beans with uh, black pepper and garlic salt so here i'm just taking a water bottle and just pouring a little bit into there so i can get some of the um, the drippies at the bottom. If you ever made gravy, this is how you make gravy. I'm just trying to make my own little sauce, just a little water added so I can get some of that flavor at the bottom of the pan. And then again, I'm adjusting my, fi my fire to like maybe medium low. I want to cook them slowly. I like my green beans to be um, a little crunchy but still charred. I like the best of both worlds. So I literally, I'll turn it up so you can get um, a boil from the drippings then I'll turn it down so it can slow cook because the slower you cook stuff the more it falls apart in your mouth Okay, so my potatoes are done right here. I, are, I had already flipped them off camera, so that's why you see me flipping them only one time, but usually if you make these yourself, you will flip them twice. 
So you, flip, you see me flipping them over and they look golden brown on one side. That means that they're perfect. I love when they're crispy on the outside and like still like soft on the inside. And that's how these were. We had our we had a good time with this meal. Like we got our life. But yeah, so this is how they look. Make sure you flip them over. Be gentle too. Um, they should flip over with no problem. But if not, you want to be gentle so they don't break apart. It's all about presentation. And these came out perfect. Now, I just set my oven to broil high. That's how I'm going to cook my lobster tails. I am going to melt some butter. Melting butter is going to help, like, basically flavor seep into your lobster tail. I just literally put it in the microwave for maybe about 30 to 30 to a minute, 30 seconds to a minute to melt the butter. And I have a brush. I'm going to brush it on to the actual lobster tail before I put them into the oven to broil. And then I'm also going to do it when they come out. Okay, so I'm just plating it up here. Um, I like to call myself Chef Lola. You know how I do. Um, that's all. But yeah, this is how I do date night. You just go to the grocery store, get some lobster tail real quick, surf and turf, nothing major. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, make sure you leave a comment on what part of the video you like the most. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy Vlogmas. Love you guys. Bye.